part of my research project on a BIM-based last planner system for short-term planning with resource constraints. Project overruns are an industry-wide issue in construction, which has largely been due to failures in planning. Ineffective planning methodologies have led to mismanaged time, exceeded budgets, and poor quality assurance. Therefore, there is a great importance in finding and developing a better methodology with the assistance of modern technology. Of the modern technology available, BIM has been identified as a solution with the most potential. BIM is the digital representation of information about a project, which can range from a visual CAD model to Excel spreadsheets, and is all stored in a cloud that can be readily accessed by all relevant parties on site. The project proposes the use of a BIM-based software called Dynamo to be utilized as part of the Last Planner system. The Last Planner system bridges the gap between long-term planning and short-term execution planning and has the scope of up to six weeks. Currently, there is no major software that fully supports the Last Planner system, which has resulted in the Last Planner meetings being completed on whiteboards and sticky notes, as shown above. This has led to inefficient planning with large overheads and, a, and has been a major and has major potential for human error. The proposed solution involves Dynamo, which is currently not utilized for short term planning. However, with the adjustments of the script, it can be it can automate short term planning with resource constraints. This system utilizes the collaborative planning of the last planner system and uses the BIM model as the main information source with a 3D BIM model and Gantt charts as the final outputs. Prior to lockdown, I had planned to test the proposed solution on a real life project that had been constructed in Germany. With that, I would be able to, deter to determine the reliability and efficiency of the proposed model. Unfortunately, I'm still stuck in Auckland um, and in lockdown and have had no access to the software. So this was unable to occur. I then conducted in, in, interviews with industry professionals to determine the benefits, limitations, and viability of, of the tool in real life projects. Some of the benefits include increased visualization, improved efficiency and reliability, and decreased overheads. It was found that while most participants believed it had the potential to eliminate many of the current issues with short-term planning, they believe that the implementation of a new system would be difficult and would require 100% buy-in to be effective. And currently, there is a reluctance to change the way of working. From the interviews, 25% of the participants would implement the system now. 67% would implement the system in the next five years. And only 8% um, of the participants did not think that the solution was viable and did not see it as working as part of the last planner system. In conclusion, the BIM-based tool shows great potential to be an innovative tool for short-term planning with resource constraints. Here's the references. Thanks. <laughs>